Well, if you want to watch, that's what I'm about to do. Okay, show me when. Okay, how to run downhill and not die. I'm watching someone do it right now. Here's the most important thing. Do not get your foot out in front of you like this. This is how you make your heel slide out and you land on your head. Okay? This doesn't mean reach out with your foot flat. This means pretend you're on a bicycle. Bicycle, this is a pedal length. There's, your pedal stroke is about this big, right? Just that, that right there. So keep your feet right under you and quick. Actually lift them up behind you, okay? So if I have my knees bent and my feet are under me and I slip, this is what happens, okay? So feet right under you and turn over as quick as you can. And this is gonna feel slow at first. You're gonna feel like I've caused you to run slower. And that's okay. The goal is to not burn out your quads because this is for ultra. This isn't for running a fast 5K. This is not how you run a fast 5K. This is how you preserve your quads and keep from landing on your head. This is for staying uninjured and safe and not damaging your knees and getting to the end of a 50 miles or 100 miles with quads that still work, okay? So you're gonna turn your feet over really quickly like this. All right, that's all. Are you gonna demonstrate the falling on your head? I'm not gonna demonstrate the falling on your head because I don't have a helmet on today. Plus, just post that video of us trying to learn to ride a lime scooter together. <laughs> How to snot rock it. <laughs> Every time I hit record, it's like some new. <laughs> 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 Look, winter rocking has boogers. If you don't Free... run because of boogers, you'll never get in shape. I Frequently asked questions. How long does the hill have to be? So, to focus on picking your feet up fast, you gotta rest at the top and catch your breath a little bit. And then, if it takes more than two minutes to get down, you probably aren't gonna keep picking up as fast as you can. So between one and two minutes to get down the hill. So it's not a distance thing, it's a time thing. If right. it's taking you more than two minutes, so you your hill's too are long. if really slow, it is acceptable to pick a shorter hill than somebody that's very fast. Or just use half of the because hill. the goal is not self-torture. It will feel like that, but the goal is actually to learn to pick your feet up faster. Because a point to the workout, and it's not just misery. It's actually to learn to pick your feet up faster. So I rest at the top, I get my heart rate down, I think about picking my feet up fast, I go down the hill and I pick up my feet as fast as I can the whole way down. Similarly, how steep does the hill have to be? Whatever you can actually pick your feet up fast going down. So it will vary it quite a lot, but if it is so steep that you're just sliding and scared, it's too steep. If you can pick something that does this and you can still just keep your feet moving fast down it, you go for it. I can do that to a point and we will occasionally do a steeper hill, but you need to be where you're at. And so if you need gentle, like this one, which gets a little steeper going down, but if you need more gentle and non-technical at first, you do that to learn the skill. If you decide to do something that's way too long and steep to be tough, you won't learn the skill. These hundreds are gonna be in the fall. By fall, the skill will be solid and you'll be able to do it on just about anything, except there's a few courses around that have some vicious spots, but for the most part, we're, we're skill building. So you need to be where you're at and build the skill from there. What about running up the hill? Stay upright. If you want to have piriformis syndrome, which is the horrible deep butt pain right here where people are sitting on their lacrosse balls, what you want to do to cause that is hunch forward like this on the hill and angle your feet out like a duck. You flog up the hill at that angle. That is how you get piriformis syndrome. Which is bad. Which, well, if you're a masochist, an extreme masochist, it's good. So you want to stay upright. Even if you take little tiny steps, you want to stay upright. It is not the single fastest way up the hill. But you're not trying to go up fast. This is not 5K we're training for. So again, don't hunch over. There are ways we'll work on them, but don't hunch over. Stay upright, short steps, upright. Do not angle your feet out like a duck and hunch over. You will get piriformis syndrome. So it will suck. And then your piriformis swells up and pushes your sciatic nerve into your pelvic bone. And then you get radiating pain all the way down your leg. It's horrible. If I could only walk up the hill, should I find like a shallower or shorter hill if it's working for the downs or should I keep that hill? Try to alternate because here's the thing. If you can walk up the hill, you can jog like this. You can do the jogging motion, alternating with walking. There's no way that you can't do like this. You're gonna go, but that's not running. I can walk that fast. I can walk faster. It's okay, work on the technique, alternate your jog motion with your walking. Because if you keep doing the stupid six minute legs, it will become 
increasingly easy in the next couple months to jog up the hill. I know I've asked you this before, but I really like the answer. So when during my hundred miler, I get to a hill like this one mm -hmm. and I'm going up it, what do I do? Walk the fucking hill. <laughs> Unless it's after mile 90 and you feel phenomenal, then run. Oh, and while I'm walking the hill, is there anything else? Eat! Eat! Eat all the calories! You walk and you eat snacks. 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 Hills, hills are for eating. Yeah. Yeah. All right, anything you want to add before you go back down? Uh, yeah, because I don't want to run down the hill again. I'm tired. <laughs> I have a cough. No, that's good. There's a ditch there. <laughs> there she goes. There she goes again.